Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. State and federal officials say the cleanup of a toxic site along I-696 in Madison Heights is making progress. A Zoom meeting Tuesday night revealed efforts to intercept contaminated water are working. Toxic green ooze from the former electroplating services plant first appeared right alongside the freeway in December of 2019. The EPA plans to turn the site back over to the State Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy next week. Well, the search goes on for the suspects who beat and robbed a pizza delivery driver in Lincoln Park. Michael Seve believes he was set up for the attack by four young men last night on White Avenue near Pengree. Seve says they had a shotgun and he was beaten and tased. They stole money and the used police car he had just purchased. Officers chased the suspects but called off the pursuit for safety reasons. The car was abandoned in Dearborn Heights. Seve now has 18 staples in his head and cautions other delivery drivers to be extra careful. Macomb County's former prosecutor faces a plea hearing for his own in federal court later today. Eric Smith is expected to plead guilty to obstruction of justice. He made a plea deal with the feds back in September. The sentence recommendation will be one to two years in prison on a charge that could carry up to 20. He's also facing state embezzlement and racketeering charges. Smith and three others are accused of stealing $600,000 in forfeiture funds. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer is preparing to deliver her third state of the state address after what has been an incredibly tough year. We're told she will reflect on actions taken to support Michiganders fight COVID-19 and strengthen the state's battered economy. She'll also talk about the fixing of bumpy roads ahead. It will be a virtual address amid the pandemic. You can watch it live on air, online and on your streaming devices starting right here at 7 p.m. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your 7 First Alert forecast. Got to be thinking about some slippery spots with temperatures overnight in the low to mid 20s. We only bounce back to 28 on Wednesday. Best chance for some sunshine. Oh, not a whole bunch, but a little opportunity in the morning. Thursday, Friday, probably brighter but colder. Teens for lows, mid 20s for highs. The end of the weekend, we should get some snow. Sunday into Monday, there might be some freezing rain mixed in as well.